Hi there, I've almost come to the end of working on my Corporal Tillo's head and I thought I'd just show it to you because I need to put it away for a few days before I do the next bit. Um, and I'm really quite pleased with it. It's, the, the piece was more difficult and complex to make than quite a few of the pieces I've worked on. The initial cast that I made of Michael's head, um, I thought was initially was quite a good cast, but actually turned out there wasn't enough definition in this area to give me a really clear sense of the shape around his face here. Um, I, when I first went to cast him, I think that um, because his eyebrows were quite thick and I was worried about pressing too hard onto that area and then having to rip his eyebrows off when I removed the thing, I didn't press him that hard. I mean, obviously I apply a Vaseline, but sometimes little hairs can get caught and, you know, hey-ho. And um, so I ended up making a cast of him that made me, gave me a really good sort of proportion of his head showed me where nose, uh, I had, um, he had his hair squashed flat with a, a shower cap, so I had sort of lumps where his ears were, but no ears. Um, the, I had to make the end of the nose, I had to work out where his eyes were and everything, and um, build on ears as well, and um, sort of redefine him. And if you've looked at my early YouTubes, you'll realise that as I was making him, I didn't have enough hair on, so he looked quite flattened. And it's it's been quite a lot of work to... Do this. I'm f relatively familiar with um, Michael's face. I've only I've only met him a couple of times, but he, uh, for many years, was on our TV as a, a famous politician. He was a cabinet minister, and um, was very influential in politics for years. And he's now regularly on our TV either as a political commentator or um, as a broadcaster. He he's uh, very passionate about trains, and has been doing series on trains and big train journeys. Um, there's one sort of televising at the moment and so he's somebody who's even if you don't know him his face is relatively familiar and as you're working on a portrait of somebody as you get closer to their likeness it's almost like you recognize them in the clay you start going oh yeah yeah there you are um, and it, once I get past that point and I've got that sort of oh yes that looks like him I relax quite a lot because it's sort of like, yes, I'm, I'm sort of beginning to get a handle in and um, and it makes the whole thing a lot easier. This one, as I said, was, it was a bit more work, but f fortunately for me, Michael's face is very well known to me, so it was, I, I knew I'd have a better sense of it um, and it worked quite well. I've tried to, on this side of Michael's face, work on... Actually, I can see the image, I'm sort of recording this on my iPhone, I can see the image, it distorts slightly, but um, it gives you a fairly good idea of what it looks like. Um, this side of his face, I've tried to make as naturalistic as possible, so that you can recognise it. And then what I have is the design running across the front, carrying on through and running up that side and across onto his hair. And what, if I just, see, I'll just unclip this so you can see. So this area here, down the bottom, this is the Spanish town of Comona, which is a medieval town. And Michael sent me through some pictures that he thought might be nice to include. And then up here, I've got areas from... Um, excavated mosaics in his house. I'll just pop you back and I can show you the designs which are somewhere. Um, yeah. So here's a design. I've got uh, the clay for Michael's piece here. I've got, I've just made a photo montage of bits of the imagery that I wanted to include here. Um, and I wasn't quite sure how it was going to go, but I knew I was going to wrap this up the side of his head. So these pieces I've made in several layers and added them on the front for the town. Can you see? Okay. So those areas I've, I've built up in layers. And then I've carried on around and I've just carved this in. I've made this more like a surface decoration here. So the, the, the actual shape of the form of the face is clearly recognisable underneath it. And then I've just cut in. Because um, I liked, once I had um, a recognisable Michael face running through, and I liked the balance and symmetry of his face, I didn't want to destroy it too much by carving it out. 
and um, I like the way that this patterning ran into his hair and it's onto his ear as well. Anyway, what I'm going to do um, before this goes to the rain for casting is I need to sign it and I need to just spend a while um, in good daylight and go around and just check edges are clean and things are exactly as I'm happy with them. There's not a, a lot of detail on the back. When I cast, um, or rather when I get asked Lorraine to cast, what we do, I'll just move you out a second bit while I just show you something. What we do is we reproduce pieces like this. So we lose the support. Okay, this piece is called Motorhead 2. And if you look, the, the front, the head and the upper part of the, the shoulders and the chest is cast but the side supports aren't cast, which actually is really nice because when you see the piece, it almost looks like it floats and it doesn't sit on the weight, whereas this at the moment isn't how it's going to be. When, it, when the, the piece is finished, it, it probably won't have those. However, having said that, I'm going to be experimenting with this piece and casting it in different media. I'm, I'm interested in reproducing it in terracotta, which may well need supports like this. Um, but I will try and make them further in so that they're a bit more subtle and less domin uh, dominating on the final image. Um, and the reason for that is because the city of Cormona, being an ancient city, um, is full of natural materials. And um, also having seen some of the things that Michael collects himself, he's, he's one of those people who surrounds himself by beautiful um, antiquated objects, well, contemporary objects as well, but they're well made and they tend to be a natural material. So, I quite like, if I can, to make this piece to fit in with that because I think that the sort of materials that someone um, surrounds us by actually reflect something of uh, their personality as well. So I want to explore that and see if I can get it right. It might be even interesting to make this as a painted top of terracotta. So um, reproduce it in terracotta, which is sort of like a biscuity, um, orangey colour but you can paint washes over it, so I might explore that. Anyway, I'm looking forward to doing the next bit. All right, bye-bye.